Hey, welcome back. I am so excited about showing you how to do dividers in Elemental with your navigation menu. Now, what I'm talking about is when you add your navigation menu, you don't automatically get the option to have dividers going in between your menu items. Now, I did do a previous video on dividers uh, about two or three weeks ago. You'll find it in my video list where I went through how you could do it but you're not using the navigation menu. You would either use an icon list like up here or even individual buttons or some other variable ways of doing it. And all of these are good, they all work. The only difficulty is though, is that as you add to your menu, you know, your navigation menu, you've got to keep adding in another button or another icon list. And wouldn't it be good if it just did it automatically? Well, guess what? You can with some really simple CSS code. And once you put that in, it will automatically create the, well, it automatically adds the divider lines in for you. Let's have a look and see how we do that. Hey, I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron. I hope you like, share and follow because we want you to learn so much great stuff about Elementor and WordPress to help you, your clients and of course your business. Okay, so let's have a look at this. The first thing we're going to do is drag in our navigation menu. And if you didn't know how to do this, you just go over to nav menu and there it is. Let's just drop it in over there. Now, this is the standard looking menu that's going to come over. Mine's got red because it's one of my primary colors. You might have a different color. I'm just going to for now put this in the center and I'm just going to make the font of this be a black, uh, a black, a black color. Let's go with that one there. Okay, I'm not worried about the presentation. I'm just showing you how this works. So we've got our menu. Now we do have options in the content for our um, pointers, but we don't have anywhere to do a divider line. I'm just gonna do a background color and I'm gonna go to style and I'm gonna set the background color for this to be, we'll go with a light gray color and we'll leave it as black. There we go. Okay, so we just get that effect, but we're still missing the divider line. That's why you're here, okay? What you need to do is you want to preview this page and then inspect that navigation menu because you need to get hold of a particular bit of code. So let me just go to preview. Da, 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 and I'm just going to right click over here on the navigation menu and I'm going to go to inspect. OK, it depends on how you're doing this on your Mac, your PC, Google Chrome, whatever. You're looking at the code behind it. I'm just going to extend this screen over here. And if I hover back, ah, sorry, don't extend too much so you kind of miss out. There we go. I need to make sure that I can still see that, the navigation menu. Now, somewhere over here, when you start to scroll over your menu, you will see a particular type of code. So if I just click over here, can you see there? I hope you can see it. It says menu hyphen one hyphen 147D824. That will be kind of unique for your menu on your page at that time. What you need to do is basically just Double click so you get the menu one and that code. That is important, by the way. Menu hyphen one hyphen whatever it is. You then copy that code, okay? And we are going to use that code elsewhere. I'm just going to stick it over here in dividers so it doesn't disappear. There's the code I need, okay? I'm now going to go, let me just shut this down. I'm now going to go back over to my navigation menu. I'm now going to go to advanced and custom CSS. In here, I'm gonna paste in a really simple bit of code. There we go. Menu hyphen one, B, da, 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 menu item, and it's then saying border right one pixel, and the color is currently black. Now at the moment, it's not doing anything because we haven't got the right menu number. I hope this is making sense. So let me go over here, let me just pick this number up. It's the bit after the hyphen one, by the way. I pick that number up, and I'm now gonna stick it in there. And as soon as I've done that, the dividers have appeared. We can tinker with it more, okay? I can now make this divider be 10 pixels width or five pixels. Sorry, that's 15. Five pixels. I'm just gonna go for one, okay? One pixel in width. I can change the color. Currently it's a nice black color. Let's go for D0D0CE. So I go for a gray color. I could go for F3, 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 which is a very light gray color. I could put red, orange, blue, whatever color scheme you want to go for, you can do that. But we can go even further. If we go back to the style for the navigation menu, the vertical padding over here, watch what happens when I start to shrink it. It will now determine the size of that divider. So I can make it really, really small. However, when you do that, it is now going to shrink your entire menu in essence. But then that's okay, you just click on your menu, go to advanced, 
and I'll now add in some padding of about, uh, let's go with five at the top and five at the bottom. So you're now adding in a bit of padding if you've got other items above or below it. And I'm just trying to get across here with some really simple CSS code where we got hold of that menu code. So right click it, get your code, okay, from your inspection uh, screen, stick that into there. And look, we now have our dividers in our navigation menu. How simple and easy is that, hey? I hope you like, subscribe and follow and please share and let everybody know about this and I'll see you soon.